we have a collection of topics to discuss the first thing is about a review about how we use computers the first thing to realize is any software that we use would have to use the computing resources in a very similar manner oracle database which is also a software that we use uses the resources of a computer thereby it has to be built with the way we use computers and that is what has happened a computer if i have to represent this black box as a computer has various components within it but then the cpu memory or ram and the storage are the three critical resources to do processing of data plus of course there is networking to access resources over the network but we are going to limit our discussion for these three resources and the way we use them are as follows we have all these three components listed here wherein storage cpu and memory so how does a computer get used by the software that runs on it number one the storage is the place where we keep data such that it is persisted or permanently saved and the storage devices could be hard disks or the newer flash based storage which gives you much better io performance and any data that you want to process has to be read into the memory including a very simple software that you are using like a microsoft office or a notepad or any software when you want to do any changes to it or even if you want to read it you don't access it directly from the storage you need to get it into the memory and then do whatever you want with it and once it is brought into the memory any changes you do any processing you do it is using the cpu resources on that computer and once the changes are done and you want to save them it has to be written down to the storage thereby the data that is kept in storage is persisted and available the data in memory is volatile wherein the data is only accessible till the computer is on so it is required from time to time you write it down and that is exactly you do whenever you save any file that you're working with on your computer and the same thing is what any software would have to do this is the crux of how we use computers as of today and this lays the foundation to see how the traditional oracle database works and related to container database architecture where the multi-tenant model is available with this i stop this video